So for plant tissue organization, we can separate into actively divide and not actively divide. So for actively divide tissue is called as the meristem tissue. Not actively divide one, we call it as a permanent tissue. Then for meristem tissue, we have apical meristem and lateral meristem. Permanent tissue, we have all this. Dermal tissue, ground tissue, vascular tissue. Underground tissue, we have parenchyma, colon chyma, sclerenchyma. Vascular, we have xylem and phloem tissue. Parenchyma tissue. So the function of parenchyma is to store starch, protein, and also water, and also carry out photosynthesis. Then we have colon chyma tissue, uh, giving support to non-woody stem of herbaceous plants. Scaring chyma tissue, also giving support and mechanis, uh, mechanical strength to all mature parts of the plant. Then vascular tissue will be the combination of xylem and phloem. For xylem, it transport water and mineral salt from the roots to other parts of the plant. So what is ligneous xylem tissue? means the xylem is not only xylem itself, it is with lignin. Lignin is a component which will strengthen the xylem tissue. So it gives it extra mechanical strength to the plant. Phloem to transport organic material like sucrose, which is a type of sugar from the photosynthesis, from the leaves to all parts of the plant. So for plant system, it can divide into two shoot system and then the root system. Shoot system, we have the stem, leaf, shoots, flower and fruits. And then the stem and twigs are the support system that support the leaf at the vertical position and also give maximum absorption of sunlight during photosynthesis. And then flower for pollination and then root system for absorbing water and mineral salt and also providing support to a plant. Now.